In this training video, I want to go over a little bit more in depth the differences between those tasks that are effort driven with their different task types and those that are not. So for example, I've got each of these tasks that are spelled out, whether it's effort driven and what task types. So when I select it, you can see down below in the uh, task form that fixed units, effort driven, fixed unit, effort driven. And each task has a total of eight days with uh, Rider 1 assigned to each one. Now you're probably looking at this going, oh my gosh, this guy's going to be overworked because it's not a relationship where he finishes this one and starts the next one. He has to start the next one the same day. Well, don't worry about him being overworked or over allocated. Let's just focus on the differences between effort driven and the task types and those that are not. And we'll cover over allocation or being overworked in a later training video. So first off, Writing the manual. When I go ahead and assign a second resource to it, and we covered this in the previous training video, so this will be a refresher. Let me come down here and click below Writer 1, and click on the drop down arrow and select Writer 2. Before I click OK, what do you think is going to happen when the units are fixed and it's effort driven? Well, it's got to cut one of these times in half. Will it cut both? Go ahead and click OK. It won't cut the units because they're fixed. So, with a total of 64 hours for the first resource, when we assign the second one, it's divvied up. Still 64 work hours but between the two and because it assumes that they're both working at the same time it's cutting the duration down to four days. So if you look at the formula of units, eight hours a day, eight times four is 32. And eight times four is 32. You get your total 64 hours still completed but in a shorter amount of time because again project assumes when it's effort driven fixed units that they're both working at the same time. Okay let's go to the next one. Okay, fixed duration, effort driven, fixed duration, effort driven, great. So when I come down here and I assign a second resource, and before I click OK, remember it's not going to change what's fixed, so what's going to happen between the work and the units, or both, when I assign the second resource? Well, if I go ahead and click OK, because the uh, duration is fixed, it'll still be 8 days, but the work, where it used to be 64 hours, is still 64. But wait a second, let's do the formula. Something's not right here, and this is uh, one of the flags that I have in Project 2010, at least for me, is that when you look at the units and you do the formula, 8 hours a day times 8 days is 64. Shouldn't the units also be cut in half? Because 4 hours a day, 4 times 8 would be 32. It's not working, so at least in my uh, project, maybe it will for you unless I got a bug. So if I go ahead and I update the units to 50% each and click OK, Okay, that looks better. Again, it's not going to change the duration because it's fixed. And when you do the formula, 50% is 4 hours. So 4 hours a day, 4 times 8 is 32. And for this uh, resource, 4 times 8 is 32. There we go. We get our 64 hours in 8 days without changing the duration. Now, just because it says it's fixed, the duration doesn't mean that you can't change it. It just means that, okay, automatically project isn't going to be looking to change that when you adjust the other two fields. You can still come up here and adjust this field and click OK and it will update or adjust one of the other time fields to uh, correspond with this. So if we go 4 hours times 10 equals 40. Cool. So again project just says OK if you want to go ahead and mess with something that's fixed I'm out of here. So again you can go ahead and still make changes to something that's fixed but that's up to you. It's just done automatically that when you change the other fields project won't mess with that one. Okay, Let's go ahead and go to the next one. And this is fixed work effort driven. Well by default fixed work is always going to be effort driven. That's why I don't have a sixth one down here that says fixed work not effort driven because it's always going to be checked. So if I come down here and I assign another resource the work is always going to be 64 hours. So when I click OK you can see that there's still 64 hours but between the two resources. Now you're probably going, wait a second, um, this looks a lot like or acts the same way as fixed units here because it doesn't uh, change the units and neither does when I, you know, with fixed work, add another resource, change the units as well. It just changes the work. Well, if I come up here and I set the uh, duration to six days and click OK, notice that the work is still fixed. So maybe that better explains it there. It doesn't mess with the work here at all. Still 64 hours, but in 6 days. Now, you can still change the work, as I mentioned, in the uh, task up above, or the task type that's fixed. And for example, let's go ahead and go down to 24, come down here and go down to 20, and click OK. And it will adjust one of the other time fields accordingly. 
either the units or the duration. So again, because it's fixed doesn't mean you can't change it. It just means that when you change one of the other time fields, it won't mess with that one that's fixed. Okay, we've got that one. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. Now, these next two that aren't effort driven, I can add as many resources as I want. It's not going to go ahead and update any of the time fields or compensate for them. So if I come down here and I add writer 2 and I click OK, it's not effort driven. It's not going to cut the time in half. But knowing that the task type is fixed units, I can go ahead and adjust one of the other two time fields, like the duration, maybe go down to see four days and click OK. And it'll go ahead and update the other field, not the one that's fixed, the units here, and vice versa. If I go ahead and do this, and go ahead and do that, and click OK, now we're up to about six days. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. This one is fixed duration. Again, not effort driven, so it's not checked. So if I come down here, it doesn't matter. I can add as many resources as I'd like and click OK. It's not going to affect the other time fields. The only way that it affects it is knowing that I don't want the duration changed when I change one of the other two time fields. It's going to be fixed. So if I go ahead and come down to these guys, only being able to work four hour days and click OK, it updates the amount of work that they're able to put within the amount of time that the task is supposed to be completed in eight days. So let's go ahead and do the calculation of four hours because 50% is a four hour work day. Four times eight is 32. Four times eight is 32. Sweet. And of course you can go ahead and change the work. And notice that when I click OK, it won't change the duration. In fact, I really probably ought to change the work. Let's do two. And let's do 10. And do OK. Nothing. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.